Hello everyone, my name is Prime and welcome back to another episode of Prime News. So today, and actually it was yesterday, uh, SCS Software released that for American Truck Simulator, update 1.39 is in experimental open beta. So for those who may not know what this experimental open beta means, basically it is even earlier open beta than they have released in the past. It is very, very early and it's rather raw and I'm reading from the blog post. So of course you can check that out in the description. The link for that's in the description below. Uh, there's lots of information in here and I'll just kind of go over a few things. And so the experimental open beta for 1.3 3.9 is now out and available for only Windows. So I'm sorry, Linux and Mac OS users, you'll get the beta later. Uh, it's going to be, you'll be able to opt in at a later date because they're still working on that. Um, so if you want to take it a, a spin, it's, they actually recommend it for people who are seasoned uh, beta testers. Um, if you've done a lot before, because they want you to uh, report any bugs and stuff you see in their official forums, and they've got links for that at the uh, on on the blog post itself. So um, there's a few major updates though that are coming with it that they have they haven't said in the past, um, or at least one main one, and that's actually the launch pad. So on screen now, of course, I'll have the screenshot there. There's limited screenshots. I'll be cycling through other times, just other screenshots that uh, are kind of going to be part of the 1.39 update uh, so to speak uh, but they're doing a complete redesign of the current launch pad so as you can see on screen there are some key major ch there, there's some major changes um, and it they have said that you'll be the reason why they've done it is it allows them to for uh, plans that are coming in the future uh, with different game modes apparently I guess um, it, and you can change game settings without even have to load the game and stuff like that um, it's subject to changes and uh yeah it's it's kind of interesting though but it's they're just kind of revamping it's almost like what they did with the home ui thing when you load into the game um they did rearrange a few things there so that's kind of cool when it's coming there of course we've got the low boy trailer so you'll be able to try those out but um in those there are certain jobs that you can get with them uh, if you have the special special transport forestry machinery and heavy cargo dlcs um so you can check those out and they're actually bringing in more viewpoints as well uh so in washington and utah there's going to be um each state will receive 10 new cutscenes, um which you can see which are actually really good that are going to be really really nice and um the other nice thing is that you can now skip or replay um the viewpoints if you watch it against one screen there's a little thing with a max truck mac truck and a uh or not mac truck western star that's what it is um western star truck in a tanker kind of overlooking and you'll be able to see that there is a i believe it is press escape um to skip cutscene yes it is and uh there there's kind of stuff like that and so you can actually skip or replay and if you've seen them before on the map uh, and the in the green things as far as I know itself will actually show up gray, which is kind of cool uh, That way, you know, you've actually seen them <laughs> and uh, you, you don't have to stop again uh, For it which is kind of handy as well So these other just general bug fixes and sound changes that you can check out on the blog post site um, Or on the blog post because it's just general things um, so of course with the maps there's the new viewpoints in Washington and Utah um, the UI is the launch pad redesign vehicles low by trailers that are ownable including articulated ones which is actually very fun and uh, just different kind of just more uh, in performance stuff like that um, but yeah this is a very early experimental open beta so if there are crashes and stuff please report them at the bottom of the page there are um, there are ways to um, they, they're kind of instructions and stuff on how you uh, report certain things and also how you get into the open beta uh, which is pretty easy but it's just it's under experimental public beta uh, 1.39 and there's no password required um, so yeah it's kind of it's an exciting time because that means one Colorado is on its way because they're now starting to get 1.39 out which is always the pre they always do an update pre uh, pre-release of a state let alone all the other cool features that are here so anyways I just wanted to uh, tell you guys about that and of course when it, I'm not gonna be opting into this experimental beta I've got other things I want to do first uh, whenever it does come out in the 
regular open beta, or I guess for that reason, whenever the Mac and Linux guys get their um, opportunity to opt in, opt into the beta, that's when I'll probably start uh, going into it as well. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.